The B-28, originally Mark 28, was a thermonuclear bomb carried by U.S. tactical fighter bombers, attack aircraft, and bomber aircraft. From 1962 to 1972 under the NATO nuclear weapons sharing program, American B-28s also equipped six Europe-based Canadian CF-104 squadrons known as the RCAF Nuclear Strike Force. It was also supplied for delivery by UK-based Royal Air Force Valiant and Canberra aircraft assigned to NATO under the command of Sassur. In addition, certain US Navy carrier-based attack aircraft such as the A-3D, later A-3B, Skywarrior, A-4D, later A-4, Skyhawk, and A-3J, later A-5A, Vigilante were equipped to carry the MK-28. Production History The MK-28 was produced from 1958 through 1966. It used the W-28 lightweight, Class D warhead, also shared with the TM-76 May surface-to-surface missile and the GAM-77 Hound Dog air-launched cruise missile. After 1968 it was redesignated B-28. Twenty different versions of the B-28 were made, distinguished by their yield and safety features. The B-28 used the building block principle, allowing various combinations of components for different aircraft and roles. The B-28 had a diameter of about 22 in, 58 centimeters, with a length varying between 96 in, 2.44 m, and 170 in, 4.32 m, and weight of 1,700 pounds, 771 kilograms, to 2,320 pounds, 1,053 kilograms, depending on the model type and whether a parachute retard pack was fitted. The principal configurations were B-28X, external, streamlined external carriage version for free fall delivery, no parachute. B-28 Re, retarded external, streamlined external carriage version with a parachute retarder, 4 feet pilot, 28 feet ribbon chute. B-28 In, internal, unstreamlined internal carriage version for free fall delivery, primarily for the Republic F-105 Thunderchief. B-28 Ri, retarded internal, unstreamlined internal carriage version with parachute retarder. B-28 Phi, full fusing internal, unstreamlined internal carriage version with parachute for laydown delivery, used only by SAC B-47S and B-52S. The Phi, for full fusing internal was developed to adapt to new low-level delivery techniques of the Air Force in the 1960s, and is the only model of this bomb equipped for air, ground, and delayed action burst. The range of explosive yields was Mod 1 1.1 megaton TNT equivalent Mod 2 350 kiloton TNT equivalent Mod 370 kiloton Mod 5 1.45 megaton The fuse mechanism on AB-28 could be set for an air burst or ground burst detonation. A total of 4,500 B-28s were produced. The last weapons in use were retired in 1991. Related Designs The B-28 bomb design has been described as the origin of a series of related nuclear warheads. The nuclear fission first stage or primary, codenamed the Python primary, was reused in several subsequent weapons. The B-28 was the mainstay of SAC during the Cold War and have yet to be completely dismantled by the Defense Department, as of 2012. Nuclear researcher Chuck Hansen's research indicates that the Python primary was used in the US B-28 nuclear bomb and the W-28, W-40, and W-49 nuclear warheads. Accidents and Incidents 1966 Palomares B-52 Crash 1968 Thule Air Base B-52 Crash Survivors 4 Mark 28 Training Variants, BDU-16-E, on their transporter, MHU-7-M, are on display in the Cold War Gallery at the National Museum of the United States Air Force in Dayton, Ohio. The Canadian War Museum, in Ottawa, holds a Mark 28 retraining variant in its Cold War Gallery. The Mark 28 armed CF-104 starfighters in Germany, 1963-74, 
under the dual key protocol, both the US and Canada had to agree to use, with the weapons in US custody on Canadian bases. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.